Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I finally mustered up enough energy to color my hair. This is clear all nice and easy. And it is called, I threw the box away, it is called uh, Medium Blonde. Color cream, this is a color cream. So what you do, you just open it up and add the color cream to this activator and blend it very well and then put it on your hair. I leave it on for about 45 minutes and then you rinse it off. So I will be back after I finish with all of this. I'm not going to make you, I'm not going to video the whole process, but I will show you how it turns out with the color, how beautiful it turns out. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all that Nature Made Vitamin C that I put in my cup of hot tea every day. One of my subscribers sent this to me. It was a big box full of these. Nature Made Max, Immune Max, 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 20 milligrams of zinc and vitamin D3. And it's orange flavor. So I just make my cup of hot tea in the coffee maker and I squeeze a fresh, half of a fresh lemon in it and then I add some honey and a little sugar because that half lemon is very bitter. And then I just put half a package of this in here. I don't think I need the whole pack. So I've been drinking this once a day and just, um, using my inhaler, the Simbacore, twice a day. And then I've been giving myself a nebulizer treatment twice a day with the albuterol in it. And, you know, I, my chest is getting better. The antibiotic did do what it was supposed to do. I'm just exhausted. I just, you know, I have to gradually try to rebuild my strength and energy. So I am going to get out today. I'll walk, at least walk to the mailbox and back a couple of times. I don't know if I'll make it to the garden. I want to go out there and, and pick some string beans for my dinner, but I'm not sure I will make it. But when I went grocery shopping that Monday, last Monday, it seems like it's been longer than just six days ago, I bought a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm trying really hard to eat healthier and, and rebuild my strength and energy. So I've just been parting it on the left side and kind of pulling it behind my ear, or sometimes I pull it back in the front. I can't even part it all without looking in the mirror. I like this color. I think it's very soft and pretty. And I like the way that as I wash it, it ends up looking like it's been highlighted. So this is all I do. I just put it behind my ear. I have no trouble keeping it behind these big elephant ears. <laughs> I don't know who I inherited these from. I don't remember mama or daddy having big old ears like this. It's okay. At least I can hear and that's all that matters. So I just kind of tease it a little bit to give it some lift. Y'all, <laughs> remember when I shaved my legs? So after I shaved my legs, I, um, I wash the razors with an old toothbrush. I take an old toothbrush and wash the blades. And then I dry them really good. Because that's the secret to preserving your razors, is keeping the, the blades dry so they don't rust. And then you can use them over and over and over, probably for six months. But if you don't dry them and they rust, then they're useless. So I was drying, I had like three, three razors in there. And I noticed my legs, my one of my legs, my right leg, I think, still had some hair on it. Gosh, I did I miss all of that hair. <laughs> so I was looking at it, you know, when I was cleaning it with that old toothbrush, and the blades were upside down. <laughs> How on earth did that happen? Oh gosh. See, the, the sharp part is supposed to be, you know, at the bottom, so when you're coming up, it's, it's shaving your legs, but I don't know, I don't, I have never taken it off. I must have bought it. Oh, okay. I don't know if I bought it like that, but it was, it was upside down. <laughs> no wonder I, st 
still had hair on my legs. Oh, Lordy. Ain't that crazy? Unless I've washed it and, and removed it the last time I used them and didn't replace it right. Oh, gosh. But anyway, I just kind of cheese it on top, you know, to give it some lift. Y'all know I don't like anything down in my eyes, so this has really taken some getting used to. But I like it. I'm going to keep it long. I don't know how much longer I will let it get, but I just kind of like a little lift up here on top. I'm actually more comfortable when I have it pulled back like that with a clip in the top. I like the Ome, non-oily. Oh, I can't stand that. I can't stand that eye makeup remover. I don't even have on any eye makeup. I don't wear eyeshadow around my eyes, the brown eyeshadow. See, no brown eyeshadow, guys. <laughs> can't imagine any idiot coming up with such a asinine theory anyway. Why would any woman want to try to make her eyes look darker than they already are? See, no, none on that eye either. I haven't even worn any makeup all week. Sun is shining, so I don't know if I will go sit in the sun today because it's only in the 50s. I think this did get some, get all of that hair dye off. Yep, it was some hair dye on there, I think. Y'all don't ever drop that hair dye on your floor because you cannot get it off. If any of y'all know it, y'all let me know in case I ever do it in this apartment. But I did it in that apartment that I was renting from John and um, I couldn't get it off. Okay, so... I can't, I can't get in here and do my hair without thinking about in the 60s how we used to, I guess it was in the, before they came out with the hot rollers in like the 1967 or 68. You know, I would wash my hair and roll it at night and sleep in those, or lay on the rollers. I never did get much sleep. Oh, that was so miserable. I was so glad when they came out with those hot rollers. That way I could just get up earlier than usual in the morning and plug those things in and go cook my breakfast and eat and roll my hair real quick and then get ready for school. Okay, that's just going to be it for today. I'm not going to be wearing any makeup. In fact, I'm going to go to eat lunch and take a nap. I am still in the taking care of Glenda Merle mode. So y'all please give me a thumbs up. Don't share this one. <laughs> and y'all just keep on coming back. I love you. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that Jill and the family went apple picking today. I was invited, but I was too sick to go. But they went upstate New York. I don't remember the name of the apple orchard. But, um, I'm hoping that she made some videos for me to upload. If she did, I will edit them and upload them one day this week. They, she cooked and everybody that was invited and was going to attend, they were all gonna bring a dish of food. I really wish I could have gone, but I just, I just couldn't. I don't have the strength. So I just wanted to, to let y'all know that hopefully we will have some apple picking videos to release this week.